I hope you're all going well. Um, well, it's been another long day. Um, thanks for all the uh, emails from everyone and comments saying you sound tired, you need some rest, etc. Well, I appreciate that, but sometimes um, the, you, you just look through something and you feel that the time's right and God just tells you to, to go, you know, get it out. So I just follow the lead and I just do what I have to do. Um, the reason we're sitting here looking at this big, beautiful rainbow is that yesterday, um, and, you know, sorry, before I go on, today's the uh, 5th of the 6th, 2016, and it's currently 2012 p.m. WAST. Now, yesterday... Um, was the 4th of the 6th, and on the east coast of Australia, they had horrendous weather, well, just terrific. Um, I think uh, Brisbane had 200 mils, Sydney had 300 mils. It was just terrific weather. Um, out of that, I got an email from um, one of my subscribers yesterday. Um, I, don't, I don't say people's names because it's not fair. Um, and he wrote me an email and he said yesterday the local uh, Queensland government told everyone to make sure they were indoors because the weather was going to be horrific and keep indoors and stay safe and blah, blah, blah. You know, at this certain time, it's going to be pouring down and whatever, whatever. So, of course, um, most people did. But then some strange things started happening in the sky. Um, and as reported, he took this picture now, when he took this picture, apparently it was pouring down rain, which is odd enough in itself. So um, he told me that at Port in Halloran, he said, you know, it, there was this just burst of light. It was just really weird. So my ears pricked up and I thought, well, let's see what we can find. Now, before we go on, I'm going to do something different here. I'm not a preacher. Um... I'm God-based, firm believer in God. There must be a superior being. Um, there must be something greater, you'd think. There must be another dimension more than anything. So what I'm going to do is go back to the main screen, show you this, and I'm going to read you, read you something which is pretty prevalent to everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just listen to the words. Um, I got this off a, you know, I've obviously read it before. I've read the Bible, but I can't really remember it. Um, I got it off a guy called Jonathan Kleck, who does, uh, who who does these uh, breaks down TV commercials that the Illuminati he says put on the TV. You know, right or wrong, can't really fold his his rationale when he does it. If you've ever watched it, is it true? I don't know, but like I said, it's hard to question his rationale. Now, he said something that was pretty pretty um, learned and stuck with me in that. And he said he's a watchman for the Lord. And I thought, oh, okay. And he had this Ezekiel 3 and he put it on the thing and he read it. So I'm going to read this to you now. Just listen to the words because it's quite good. Okay, Ezekiel 3. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go and speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, go. Get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech, and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech, and of a hard language, whose words thou cannot understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, then um, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent, impudent 
and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an ardent harder, oh sorry, as an adamant harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though, though they be a rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart, and hear with thine ears. And go, get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Thus said the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the, God, the glory of the Lord from his place. I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another, and the noise of the wheels against them, and a noise of great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went into bit in bitterness in the heat of my spirit, but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Then I came to them of the captivity of Tel Aviv, that dwelt by the river of Cheba, and I sat where they sat and remained there astonished among them seven days. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness, and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. But because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. And his, and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered. But his blood I will require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. And the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee with thee. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there as the glory which I saw by the river of Cheba, and I fell on my face. Then the Spirit entered me, and sat me upon my feet, and spake with me. And he said unto me, Go, shut thyself within thine house. But though, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt no, not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and thou shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason I, I read that is because I truly, truly believe that we are all watchmen. And it's our duty to show others the way in our deeds and in our words. Uh which will become fulfilled in time, I would imagine. So just, if you have trouble with anything at the moment, say the Lord's Prayer and read Ezekiel 3, The Watchman of Israel. It's, uh, I've read it loads of times now, it's becoming even more prevalent in my daily life. 
Uh, go about your business and do what you have to do, but be a watchman. Simple as that. Okay, well, I thought I'd show you this again. The, uh, the tilt is getting worse, <laughs> a lot worse. You know, we're flattening out here. Um, if it goes like that again, then, you know, we're miles from where we should be now. Miles. Uh, you know, I, I really need to get hold of this bloke and actually ask him um, if we can chat or something because I'd love to find out how many miles he thinks this is because that's a humongous distance, isn't it? Look at that. Anyway, I'll shut that one down. I want to start off here. <clears throat> and as I said to you, as a watchman, I decided to go and look, and watch, and learn from the picture that I showed you before and from the email from the other watchman who sent it to me today. And I guess that's what I'm saying as well. We're all watchmen. We're all enlightened. We've all been blessed with the word of God, I guess, in trying to find out the truth. It's not just me. It's everybody. Yeah, I might spend a bit more time doing it, but uh, it's, it's the same for everyone who's watching. You're all watchmen. You're all blessed and enlightened, so um, just keep doing exactly what you're doing. Right, I can't explain to you what you're about to see. I'm not an astronomer. I have no idea about um, <clears throat> light refractions in this, this regard for what you're about to see. The other easier ones, yeah, sure, I can have a bit of a pun at them, but, you know, I'm just a bush expert at the end of the day. But let's... I want you to just remember yesterday in Brisbane, look at the rain, pouring down rain, absolutely horrendous rain there. Now, I got told that there was something that happened at Point Halloran yesterday where they, they could actually see it. Now, you might notice up above here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to prove to you that something did happen and you're just going to sit there and go, you've got to be kidding me. So let's go through this now. This is yesterday, 4th of June, 4 p.m. in the afternoon till 5.20 in the afternoon. Notice the change in the weather. It's not raining as much. Just watch this. See the color changes? Starts here, bit more, bit more, bit more. Now watch this. And please, before I do this, before we go any further, before that particular Richard Cronium decides to write to me and tell me it's all lens flare and lens retraction, well, one, there's no sun, two, it's pissing down rain, and three, the weather's atrocious. So just don't send me the email or the comment. All right, here we go. And then back to normal. And then back to normal. They've still got some in it. A little bit there. Back to normal here. Any explanation, anybody? You're going to see more, so you can go on this and find it yourself. Point Halloran, southeast. Any idea what would cause this during the middle of the day? Okay, so that's Point Halloran, Brisbane. Point Halloran, Brisbane, southeast. The next one's New Farm. Perhaps it's better if I just go through them. I'm probably not going to say much. You guys can just look and make up your own minds. This is Brisbane City. And then clear as a bell. And it gets dark. Now Point Halloran's a, a bit away from the city. Not much though. So let's go back to Point Halloran.
See the time? 503, 505. 505. There's your confirmation. Okay, this is Kalinga. Northwest Brisbane. See the change in colour? Five o'clock. Bang. Five out five. Okay, Kalanga. Thankfully, I've got this one. I think this one's on. Uh, Trying to remember why I had this one on here. That's right. Five oh five. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm painting. Sorry about that. So that's Kalinga West Southwest. This is Brisbane Paddington Northwest. Look at this. Look at the difference in the skies. Look, just just keep your eye on this. Then watch as it goes through the screen. And then watch the strip. This is really important. Watch this strip. Look, see the strip of red? It comes down and goes in. See that strip? Look at that. It's like a beam of light just coming straight down from the sky. That's important. Look at this. I couldn't believe this. 5.15, see that? 5.15, 6.02. They chopped five whole, what, 45 minutes off the whole thing. So we didn't see what it was. And there's others that you can go to. Every single east-facing camera, every single one, and I went through every single one, has been chopped. Nothing on it. Point Hatleran goes uh, from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, and it's got nothing on it. Like three three um, stills and that's it. But someone forgot to take this one off. How do you explain this? So I meant to show. Did I show you five oh five? Five oh five. I tried to do the time lapse on this and it wouldn't do it. I was hoping it would. It would have looked spectacular. The one thing I didn't do was change it to 725. Let's see what happens then. So we know what page two is. Let's have a look at page three. There you go. How do you explain that? How do you explain one like that? Look at that. <laughs> oh, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, well, we'll never get to know why that, that particular light did an S-bend curl like that. It went from here, went down there, you can see it, and then goes down this way. That ain't no light refraction, folks. 
and then goes back to normal. I suppose I should do you the courtesy of seeing how normal it goes back to. Let's go to five. Still there. Does that look bizarre to anyone else? <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta give him credit, haven't you? Guys, I reckon we're watching the UFO light UFO light show. How do you like the horizontal ones? Look. That rules out rain. Should we go a bit further and just see what happens? Come on, let's be daring. Yeah, but now we might see a UFO or two here. Notice the difference in contrast. It's, it's obviously the camera trying to keep up. But the red's there, isn't it? Look. Since when have you ever had a pink screen at night? Let's go for seven. Come on. It's all finished. Sort of. Well, that's that one. Right. Now it gets a bit trickier. Remember, that was Paddington. So this is McLean's Ridge North, which is in New South Wales. So it's good four hours drive from Brisbane. Yeah, probably five, actually. Now, the reason I picked this was because it's the only camera that has anything on it with the sun. So it's close to Brisbane. So I thought I'd have a look and see what I could find. And this is what I found. See the pink? Let's go back one. The amazing thing about these is that, uh, which one was it? I think it was this one. Or was it one of them? No, I'll pick this one. <coughs> See the light sources? That's one there. That's one there. And there's another one over here. But I don't think this was the one I looked at earlier. I think there was another one. It was better. It was the one above it. I think this was this one. This one. See that? And that. And then that. So there was something horrific that happened yesterday that they don't want us to see. And they're doing their damnedest to try and stop us from seeing it. Like I said, that's McLean Ridges North. Look at that. You can actually see the light, the different lights. Okay, so I kept on looking. This is Melbourne, which is now uh, 18 hours drive away from Brisbane, if I remember. That's straight driving, by the way. So it's almost a full 24-hour drive away. So notice the, the pink in the screen here. It's really unusual. Notice anything weird? This was a fluke, by the way, because I clicked on AM instead of PM. I haven't even checked PM yet. Should should do, shouldn't I? But it's there all the way through. And guys, that's not the camera. It's actually something in the sky that was there all day, every day. Or, you know, all day that day. And it just goes on and on and on and on. You can go and have a look for yourself. So it's Victoria, Melbourne, uh, Langwarren, West, Northwest. Let's just do this and see what happens. Sorry. Mm. 
what do you know? It was there all day, all day. Didn't go away. Bloody thing. See it? Still there. Just simply unbelievable. Okay, and here we go. Dingley Village. Why did I do this one? Ah, that's right. Just watch, you can actually see the pink in the sky. And as I said, it's miles away from the other one. Something big happened yesterday, folks, and they don't want us to know. Right, I'm sorry. I'm going to go, right. <clears throat> right. What I'm going to show you now will bring it all together, but at the same token, scare the absolute Jesus out of you. And, you know, I'm not a few kangaroos short of the top paddock. I'm not that switched on that I don't know what's going on. So just watch this and see what you think. Did you notice that? Did you notice anything unusual about it? Okay, there was a storm in Brisbane yesterday, pretty bad. Right, watch how the weather is going that way. Okay, so it's Archerfield Northwest. So watch how the wind's blowing. Now, did you see that? Okay, the wind's blowing that way. You can actually see the clouds going. Can you see it? Right. Now watch when that big orb, white orb comes in. Watch that. Did you see that? That's a hell of a turnaround, folks, for a big storm. Let's go back again. Just watch it again. See the cloud formation? Boom. And then all of a sudden the big white orb comes in and the clouds get broken up. And keep watching. And all of a sudden it gets pink. And then really bright red. And did you notice that the colour is actually at the back, not at the front? So it's not from a light, it's actually come from the back. You see that? It all starts with a big white orb. Look how red that is. Now that ain't no, uh, that's not even the right colour for, uh, you know, red sky in the morning, shepherd's morning, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. That ain't any of that, folks. That's pink. That's like a red pink. It ain't orange, like we all know. And believe me, I know, because I spent a lot of time working on farms. So we used to live by it. I'll let it run through again. You can all watch it. 
So something big happened in Brisbane yesterday and they've completely wiped every station and every channel from the viewing of it. See how it changes the clouds? It just steams in and just takes takes forward. So what causes that then? People will probably say it's not that unusual, but I would say that that's the most unusual thing I've seen for a long time. As I said, folks, <coughs> excuse me, something happened in Brisbane yesterday on the east coast of Australia, and they're not telling us about it. I tried to find anything in uh, Perth at around about the same time, to just to see if there was anything there, but I couldn't find anything. So it was particular to that side of the country, whatever it was. I just realized it at the wrong time. Look, I couldn't find anything on Jandicott one, so I won't waste our time. If anybody has a camera or knows anybody that's got a camera shot of what the hell happened in Brisbane or on the west coast of New South Wales yesterday, uh, west coast of Australia, east coast of Australia, sorry, drop us an email so we can get it up there on the screen. To the brother who sent the, uh, the rainbow picture in, God bless, mate. Very much appreciated. Um, couldn't have asked for more. Where is it? There it is. And with that rainbow, folks, I'll leave it to you guys to decide what, what and how and where. But I think things are getting worse, not better. With that, God bless you all. Speak to you all soon. G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all going well. Um, well, it's been another long day. Um, thanks for all the uh, emails from everyone and comments saying you sound tired, you need some rest, etc. Well, I appreciate that, but sometimes um, the you just look through something and you feel that the time's right and God just tells you to go, you know, get it out. So I just follow the lead and I just do what I have to do. Um, the reason we're sitting here looking at this big, beautiful rainbow is that yesterday, um, and, you know, sorry, before I go on, today's the 
uh, 5th of the 6th, 2016, and it's currently 2012 p.m. WAST. Now, yesterday um, was the 4th of the 6th, and on the east coast of Australia, they had horrendous weather, well, just terrific. Um, I think uh, Brisbane had 200 mils, Sydney had 300 mils. It was just horrific weather. Um, out of that, I got an email from um, one of my subscribers yesterday. Um, I don't I don't say people's names because it's not fair. Um, and he wrote me an email and he said yesterday the local uh, Queensland government told everyone to make sure they were indoors because the weather was going to be horrific and keep indoors and stay safe and blah blah blah. You know, at this certain time it's going to be pouring down and whatever whatever. So of course, um, most people did, but then some strange things started happening in the sky. Um, and as reported, he took this picture. Now when he took this picture, apparently it was pouring down rain, which is odd enough in itself. So um, he told me that at Port in Halloran, he said, you know, it, there was this just burst of light. It was just really weird. So my ears pricked up and I thought, well, let's see what we can find. Now, before we go on, I'm going to do something different here. I'm not a preacher. Um, I'm God-based, firm believer in God. There must be a superior being. Um, there must be something greater, you'd think. There must be another dimension more than anything. So what I'm going to do is go back to the main screen show you this and I'm going to read you read you something which is pretty prevalent to everybody <clears throat> excuse me just listen to the words um, I got this off a you know I've obviously read it before I've read the Bible but I can't really remember it um, I got it off a guy called Jonathan Kleck who does uh, who who does these uh, breaks down TV commercials that the Illuminati, he says, put on the TV. You know, right or wrong, can't really fold his, his rationale when he does it, if you've ever watched it. Is it true? I don't know, but like I said, it's hard to question his rationale. Now, he said something that you know, was pretty pretty um, learned and stuck with me in that, and he said he's a watchman for the Lord. And I thought, oh, okay. And he had this Ezekiel 3, and he put it on the thing, and he read it. So I'm going to read this to you now. Just listen to the words because it's quite good. Okay, Ezekiel 3. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go and speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, then um, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent, impudent and heart 